Jabari Smith has been fantastic these last yeah. three games for the Houston Rockets. Jabari Smith over the last three games, Blankers, went mm-hmm. for 30 and 12, for 20 and 10, for 24 and 12. His shooting is through the roof, which is not great for all these casuals who say that Jabari Smith cannot shoot because he's a 19 year old in the NBA and is having trouble, is having an adjustment period, and these casuals are saying the guy cannot shoot. Uh, I look Jabari Smith over these last three games. It's not sustainable for him to play like this the rest of the year, uh, or even like his entire sophomore year in the NBA. But you know what I love about his last three games is that we again get to feel hope that Jabari Smith's going to be a really good basketball player in his career. I don't disagree with that. But Jeremy, where I I nitpick this is the fact that everybody is losing their minds because of the double-doubles. It's encouraging. I agree with what you said. I feel like there might be a guy. Look, we both said, and I was strong on the fact that I felt like he was the most talented player in this draft that the Rockets could have taken. I felt like they were getting the guy with the highest upside. But I also felt a little bit shaky about my decision to say that when I saw what I saw the way he played so far as rookie season. But the fact that he's picked it up lately and played better gives me encouragement and hope. What doesn't sit so well with me is his lack of defense because he says he prided himself on what did he want to call himself? The locksmith. And he wanted to be a lockdown defender. And the coaches in the interviews during the games would say how he prides himself on wanting to stop and shut down and guard Giannis and other guys. Then I look at Jason Tatum blow his doors off and go completely by him. I look at for every play that Shen Goon gets penalized for, for not coming over from the weak side, it was because Jabari got beat so badly that he needed help from the weak side to come over and help him. He's got to improve on what his calling card self-proclaimed was in playing defense. But overall, I think right now when you look at all the players on this roster, he has to be considered one of your best bets to be a guy you can build around, even though it didn't look like that early in the season. Jalen Greenstock is slipping with me a lot. And I think that Shen Goon is kind of stuck in the mud because he doesn't play defense either, and he's had up, ups and downs. But right now, the stock is trending upward for Jabari Smith because he already brings a skill set of athleticism and basketball ability to the table where he should be better, and now he's showing it. I don't, I don't really like your Jabari Smith being able to defend Jason Tatum thing. Like, the dude averages 30 points a game in the NBA. Jason Tatum. I'm not saying everybody. on one play, though, Jeremy. I'm saying se- seven or eight times, Tatum went right down Main he Street. He shouldn't be guarding Jason Tatum. But he, whether he, he wants he's a, to, he's a Silas four, made a bad. maybe a five that's having to guard a perimeter guy that scores 30 a night. It's not just Tatum, though. He lets everybody beat him off the dribble. I don't think Jabari's has been as good a defender in his rookie year as we, you know, kind of were led to believe. I don't think he's a bad defender, though, and I also don't think that we should expect him to be a finished product at 19 years old. That I agree. And I don't think we should. And I don't. I don't think we should be judging Jabari Smith based on his defense of Jason Tatum. Like that's a that's a. But mismatch. it's not just Jason Tatum. I've seen this over the last three games. I've seen it over the last five. I see uh-huh. him. Like, the reason why, when I said he berated Shangun, in the same game against someone not named Jason Tatum and other guys, he got beat so bad off the dribble in the middle, and then he was yelling at Tari Eason and others looking for that last-minute help from the weak side instead of really, you know, giving that, he's got length, give the guy an extra step, but make sure you're prepared so that you can play him off the dribble instead of letting him go right by you. Yeah, Uh, the big question that kind of hangs over this team, too, like, they're all very young, so, like, Jabari Smith's not going to be a finished product at 19. Uh, Jalen Green's not going to be anywhere near a finished product. Same thing with, like, Alpi Shingoon. I think a lot of what we think Jabari's going to be as a defender is based on his skill set. Like, he's he's pretty fast. He's pretty long. Uh, He should become a very good defender over the course of his career. But, like, the the black cloud that hangs over the team is, like, what's the coaching look like? Like, are they getting the most out of these guys? Uh, which I would argue that I, I don't think that they are getting the most out of these guys. Like, does Jalen Green look much different with a much better developer as a head coach? I think so. Mm-hmm. Uh, does Jabari Smith look much better with a you know head coach that's really good at developing? I think so. I think sometimes we lose sight, though, that Jabari Smith's 19 years old. Like, what well, he's doing okay, at 19 Jeremy, in the NBA, I think, is pretty significant. All fair. I was looking up at Kevin. I was looking at Kevin Garant, uh, Kevin Garnett's numbers today mm-hmm. when he was 19 years old. Kevin Garnett, Hall of Famer, really good player in the NBA, has a very similar body style to Jabari Smith. Kevin Garnett 
at 19, his rookie year, 10.5 points, 6.5 rebounds. Sure. Now, it's a much different league now. Like, mm-hmm. there's way more scoring, way more shots being put up. Jabari at 19, 12.5 points, 7 rebounds. I'm not saying Jabari Smith's going to be Kevin Garnett. I'm saying when we criticize Jabari Smith, we shouldn't be expecting a finished product at 19 no, 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 years no, no, old. No, 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 no. But I'm just saying, people, of course, like they like to do, the red Kool-Aid drinkers are now going off the handle and, and losing their bleeping minds about this guy being your franchise player because of a, a small sample size, and they forget. And, and what I was going to ask you was, if you feel that way, and, and, and fairly and rightly so, because I agree, you're not going to see a finished product at 19, but I also see the game enough to know, like you do, that I can pick out the pros and cons and the things that he still has sure. to work on and develop. I hear the same thing. I want you to say the same thing with the same energy about Shen Goon, and not just you specifically. I want the fan base to do the same thing. Shen, Shen Goon was getting murdered because of his defense a week or two ago. Shen Goon was being singled out, and the only guy that Silas was singling out on the defensive end. I see the exact same mistakes Shen Goon was making done by Jabari Smith. I just don't see the same kind of pay, payoff, which is sitting him down, talking to him, calling him out, letting everybody look at that and talk about that too. Shen goon has been one of your most consistent offensive players this year, but yet he was getting obliterated. Jabari, because of the double-doubles, no one seems to want to look at the same exact weakness that, that Shen Goon has in terms of their defense. I think it's I think it's a fair point. Now, for me personally, I think it's more about skill set. Like I, I, I believe that Jabari Smith has the skill set. Oh, to absolutely, be he's more athletic for sure. Where I don't believe that in Alpi Shingun. Like Alpi Shingun, he's got to get to a point where he doesn't kill you enough defensively to where his offense outweighs his defense. Yeah, he also has like, to he's focus. He's never going to be a good defender. No, well, he he can be a low post. He can be a decent low post defender, but that's it, right? He's got to focus in on certain matchups though, because if you have a five I was just going to say outside, that if he's, he's playing screwed. a bulky four or or a low post five, he can play defense. But if you're asking him to go out on the perimeter and guard switches and get through picks and do the kind of things that the NBA offensive systems do these days, that is a tall order for a guy with his skill set athletically. I think you're right. Jabari has length. He has height. He has he has some quickness, for especially quickness for his size. Uh, and he's fully capable. He's going to get stronger. But I think that Shengun is what he is physically. Now it is just how much mentally can he understand about the game so that he can play a more intelligent defensive game and know where he's supposed to be on rotations and help. That's the best you can do. So they're different from that perspective in terms of what their expectations could be defensively, but they both have to get a lot better. Sure. Yeah, yeah, I I agree. Uh, Dre says, question is, where has this effort been all year from Jabari? Uh, Says that Jabari's lacked effort really all season. I think it's an NBA thing. Uh, I I think the NBA, a lot of times we see a lot of lack of effort, uh, especially in the regular season. I would say that the Rockets lack effort more than like the average NBA team, Uh, but it's something that you would like to see improve. That's, that's That's what I want from an ex head coach is I want somebody that demands that effort on a nightly basis. And if it costs you a superstar, if it cost you a player that doesn't want to work hard every single night okay see you later like give me the head coach that demands effort